Hey guys! If you have ever wondered about painting IKEA or laminate furniture and weren't sure what paint to use or if it was even gonna stand up at all, this is the video for you because we are testing everything. I wanted to paint an Ikea furniture piece and my husband was not convinced that it was going to stand up and last the test of time. So I decided to do a little experiment. I tested a bunch of different primers. I tested different paint types. I tested whether you need to sand it or not. And I'm gonna show you the results of that experiment and us putting those results into action. I tested everything on these laminate IKEA drawer fronts that we had left over. I painted all of the primer and paint and let everything sit for about two weeks so it was nice and set before I started scratching them. I started by using my nails and then gathered a couple other tools to scrape a little bit deeper and see how these guys would stand up. Can I see? See what? My uh, experiment results. All over the cabinet. Yeah. So. So. No primer, bullseye, thin shellac, and then this is the extreme bond. Mm -hmm. So there's like, I would say four conclusions I came to. Isn't this like a science thing in high school? Hypotenuse and. Hypotenuse? That's math. I was just trying to remember how it all worked. <laughs> Apparently I was wrong, so we're not looking for the hypotenuse of them. <laughs> Number one, always, always use primer. This no primer looks like garbage. Always use primer. Primer and top coat are totally different beasts. So there's the box stores that do paint and primer in one. It's not the way to go. If you have big patches on your wall or if you have staining on your wall, prime first, you're gonna get a way better job. Number two, I experimented with different levels of sanding. Sanding before the primer and then sanding between primer and paint. And I would say you don't have to do the second sand. Like, I bet it does help a bit with adhesion, but overall, like with my ability to scratch and mark up these cabinets, there was really no difference between the first and second sand. But there is a significant difference between no sand and sanding once. So you should sand, just not, you don't have to do it multiple times. This easily cuts through on all of these. And with no sanding, you can see, cuts through a bit here. Sanding is definitely important on your first coat because what, essentially what you're doing is you're adding a whole bunch of scratches for the paint to bond to on the surface. And when you coat on top of your second coat, I think the paint is made to adhere to itself. So then that's why probably you don't have to sand or scuff the second coat. Um, as like we were seeing here that there wasn't a big difference, but I think, yes, sand first coat. I think that makes sense. Yeah, I say, me. I just think Anecdotally, you do not have to stand the second time because it really made no difference. Yeah. Number three is that the cabinet paint performed better than the latex paint every time with every primer. So I would definitely suggest using cabinet paint if you're gonna be painting IKEA furniture or laminate furniture. Like with light pressure, nothing's coming off. This is heavy pressure. <laughs> And then the fourth thing is the one you're all wondering about, which is which primer worked the best. I would say based on this, the Extreme Bond worked the best. I will say that for the bullseye, the bin shellac and the Extreme Bond, I had to push harder to get scrapes on any of them. Um, it wasn't just like really easy to mark up any of them, but when I did push on it and like scrape it with the tool, the extreme bond I would say held up the best yeah. from this, right? Like 
These ones, especially with the cabinet paint, I've worked pretty hard to try and scratch these and it doesn't look like there's much over here. <laughs> then I would say that the bullseye in the bin performed similarly, but the issue with the shellac one is that you cannot put in a paint sprayer. And we actually sacrificed a sprayer for the making of this video. <laughs> we tried um, one just to see if we could successfully use the bin and clean the sprayer, and we ended up throwing the sprayer away. What I would suggest overall is prime your piece, use the Extreme Bond Primer if you can, use cabinet paint and make sure you sand before putting on the primer or paint. And if you are worried about budget, so Extreme Bond is a little bit pricier, but my opinion, when you're painting stuff, you want it to last and I think it's worth that extra cost. But if you want to try and save some money, Bullseye is a little bit cheaper and it still performed well. So, those are our results. Do with them what you will. We are going to use the Extreme Bond and some cabinet paint for our Melm hack. Yep. To see all this in action, this is the Malm IKEA hack that we recently finished for our loft space. These are some IKEA dressers that we picked up at IKEA for. I think they're around $130, and we want to make them look like built-ins. The first step of this process was extending the front of our dresser with some MDF panels and this faux front would help make the whole piece look like a custom built-in. We have the cabinets fit to the space and kind of built in now. So what we did is we installed these little pieces on the side just to bring it out. And this is the same distance from the wall at each cabinet. Then we built some faux drawers, also out of MDF, that we could use to extend the full width of the dresser and the MDF panel. As we suggested in the earlier experiment, we gave everything a quick sand before applying our first coat of primer. Then we wanted to paint our whole piece and we definitely wanted to use a paint sprayer because we knew it was gonna be a much faster process. So we sprayed our entire piece with the Extreme Bond Primer that we suggested earlier. And this one is tinted dark because we're putting a dark color on top of it. One of my biggest hesitations with painting the Ikea cabinets was that the paint wasn't gonna stick. The Ikea um, cabinets come with a bit of a glossy kind of finish and there's not a lot of uh, profile for the paint to stick to. So I wasn't sure how it was gonna work, but I just wanted to show you how well this primer is actually sticking to the Ikea cabinets. So this is 180 grit sandpaper and I'm sanding here and you can see like it's not taking it off. This is like a fingernail. It's not peeling it off. I mean, this is a putty knife. And I mean, I could peel it off, but this is a fairly abrasive. And that just scratched it. It didn't even go into the cabinet. So, I mean, that's a really good bond. Um, normally, if you're gonna have issues, if you ran like a metal edge, on it, it would just peel right off. So this is bonded well. So now that we have it primed, the paint has a good surface to stick to. So I'm pretty confident that this is gonna perform well. The final step was to spray our cabinet with cabinet paint and we used Onyx by Benjamin Moore for this. These cabinets look amazing. The paint has held up so well. I genuinely do not think you would know that these were Ikea cabinets originally if you just saw them in our loft. If you wanna see the rest of this loft transformation, you can check out that whole video linked above. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you enjoyed our Melm hack. I love those built-ins. 
If you liked this video or learned anything at all, please give this video a like and let me know in the comments below. As always, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on amazing DIY and renovation content. Thank you so much for watching.